and TVG frontman talks about the band's acclaimed album El Tiempo Otraves of Anzo and making music to please themselves. The nine-piece Uruguayan indie rock band Note Vaga Star rented the year fresh off the cover of Rolling Stone Argentina and Platinum Sales in the southern cone of their critically celebrated 2014 release El Tiempo Otraves of Anza, produced by Joe Blaney. Known for the strength of their live shows, NTVG is set to play the Latin Alternative Music Conference's concert at Central Park Summer Stage on Saturday, July 11, performing on the same bill as Vice Centico, the charismatic Fabulosos Cadillacs frontman who's emerged as a sort of lat-out Frank Sinatra, and Mexican introspective pop singer Ximena Sarinana. And TVG's appearance in New York City will celebrate the success of the 21-year-old band's most recent album, which has brought them acclaim as one of the best Latin alternative groups. It will also surely be an emotional tribute to Marcel Curache, the group's keyboardist, who died in a motorcycle accident on his way to the band's scheduled, and subsequently cancelled, gig at the Lamp in 2012. The tragedy has inspired much of NTVG's music since then. Billboard spoke to NTVG leader Emiliano Bronchari about El Tiempo Otraves Avanza, making music to please themselves, and the strength of their live shows. El Tiempo Otraves Avanza was produced by Joe Blaney, known for his work with The Clash, who is also behind some of the great classic rock and Espinal records. How was the experience different from the band's other recording sessions?